So by now you know that a circle is just a collection of all the points that are at the same distance from the center point which is G in our case and the distance that is the same between the center point and these points is what we call the radius which is three units here. It's a segment that connects the center point to a point that forms the circle. Now let's move on. But before we move on, one important thing is that the way we name or label a circle, we put this symbol here along with the center point and just assign the letter of the center point, which is G in this case. Now moving on. So let's say here we've connected to form the radius, any point that's forming the circle and the center point. But what if we had to connect the point K and J. So in this case, if I had to connect a point K, which is forming the circle and another one J, what you see here is that we form a segment that's KJ or H, a small case H with a certain length. And this is what we call a chord. A chord is just a segment that's connecting any two points that form the circle. Now you see that we could form any number of chords on the circle which actually lie inside the circle and if they lie inside the circle you see that the lengths are different here. All these chords have a different le length here which is 4, 5, 5.9, 5.24. It's also evident if I were to draw a chord here at the bottom it's around 3. Sorry. So these chords can have different length, but since this, this chord lies inside this circle, there would be a chord that would be the longest, right? So let's take a look further. So moving on, I have this chord F here, which is of two units, and I have the radii I and J, which are both three units. Now let's move this chord a bit and see what how the length changes. You see that the length of this chord F which is connecting these two points that form the circle is move, is increasing as we move closer to the center. I hope you can see that. Right now it's somewhere close to 5 and now wait one minute. So it's 6. Do you see that this length of 6 units is twice the length of the radii or putting these two radii together. So this special kind of a chord that passes through the center point A is what we call the diameter. And this diameter is the longest chord that is possible inside a circle and it's twice the size of the radius. So this D being the diameter and R being the radius. Now we'll continue moving this chord further. You see that again now from the center point the length decreases and continues to decrease as we move away from the center point. So I'll quickly conclude on this. A chord is just a segment that connects any two points that form the circle. The longest chord possible is a chord that passes through the center point which is here. And this chord that passes through the center is called the diameter, which is twice the length of the radius. Now I'll end it with a little clip. Try to see in this clip where you find a circle and a few chords. <laughs>